Hey guys, it's Nicole. And today we have an old fashioned Goodwill outlet haul. So I like to shop at Goodwill outlet, which is the bins, um, pay by the pound Goodwill. They roll out these giant bins full of things. You dig through them and I personally pay $1.30 a pound. We're gonna dive into the stuff that I got. Um, I go almost every day. So this is just like a hodgepodge. I honestly don't know what bags I grab. I just grabbed a few bags that I haven't processed um, from the last couple days. So we're gonna go through them. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I've been finding and hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know what's in these. So bear with me here. Um, okay, the first thing I'm gonna show you is crazy looking and you probably pass this stuff up and you probably shouldn't because comps are crazy. This is by Bluefish, which is a sought after, like very hippie. This is a dress tunic thing. It's all hand painted. Um, and then the matching pants as well, or skirt. This is a matching skirt to it. And you would wear it all like together. Um, I would imagine this set would sell for over a hundred dollars on eBay. Crazy. I know. This is just a Hannah Anderson skirt. My daughter likes to wear these, um, or this brand in general. So I pick it up whenever I see it. This is a really gorgeous uh, Calvin Klein piece. I found quite a few of these Calvin Klein career dresses. Here it is. It's so pretty. I love this dress. It's this royal blue kind of color block dress. Um, this piece is interesting because I picked this up and I could tell it was quality and I honestly felt it and I was like, oh, this feels like Eileen Fisher. However, the brand tag was missing. But that doesn't stop me because it has an RN. It's like a shawl. The tag looked like an Eileen Fisher tag down here, the care tag. It's 100% organic cotton. So no matter what, I was going to look it up. Um, the RN number is on here. So the RN number is just like the registered number, basically. And there's a government website you can go to, Google RN Lookup. And I don't even have it saved. I just always Google RN Lookup. And then it pulls you to the site, you type in that number and it tells you the brand it's registered to. So this was indeed an Eileen Fisher shawl. Um, and it is so here, I think it's like a one size fits all piece anyways, because it's just like a wrap. There's no, wait, there's one arm hole. This is a very weird piece. Hold on, there's, let me try this one. There's one arm hole. And then I guess this side is just like, would wrap, does it go like this? Or is this like, it's kind of cozy. You know, I did actually kind of get used to this. It's kind of like a Snuggie, but like you have an armhole and then you don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, you guys. Is this how this works? Okay, anyway, you guys miss me? You guys miss my house? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. I don't know. It's got one armhole. I'm going to sell it to someone. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. This is a dress um, by G uh, this brand. G-A-N-N-I. I still cannot pronounce half of the things I find. Anyway, just like a textured box pleated dress. Um, I have another one. I looked it up. I think it was sold at Anthropology. Let's see, RN66170. Yes. Oh God, you guys, look at this. Ah, this is such a good find. It's a fairy Kai uh, style sweater, which is just like a pastel. You know, we all had these when we were young. Look at this one though. This one has elephants. I've never seen an elephant one. I found a lot of them in my days. The duck ones are very popular. Hi. <laughs> uh, but this has elephants and hearts and it's a turtleneck. Someone's gonna love this. I'm telling you, sounds crazy, I know. <laughs> these are very St. John pants, I believe, yep. I was so excited when I found these. So this is St. John's, just like their main line. These pants are a few hundred dollars. Um, just a gorgeous pair of career pants. My Goodwill wanted $30 for them. And that is why they ended up at the bins. 
Oh, these were a really cool pair of Wallace pants. So Wallace is um, sold at Madewell and these, they're all tied up, but they're just like a tie weight. No. Oh my God, how cute. I think these are suspender style pants. I was not paying attention when I picked them up. I thought this was a belt, but it's not. These are like a suspender. How cute. Um, These are so cute. They're cargo and they're knit. Oh, I love these. And they're by the brand Wallace, which again is sold at Madewell. So fun. It's also see-through, but still so fun. I don't know this brand. Oh, yes, I do. This isn't it. This is just a QVC um, brand sweater. So it's a turtleneck. Um, but I bought it because it has all this really pretty embroidery on it. It's really well made. And hi, hello. Everyone loves a good embroidery. It's on both sleeves. And then the brand is this. Let me give you a trick. I did not know this was a QVC brand. QVC always has style numbers right here on the back of the tag and always starts with a letter and then it is a like five digit code. So this right here, A62177 is a QVC code. Very easy to spot. Once you've seen a few in your day, you'll flip a tag and you'll be like, oh, that's a QVC code. So there's a little tip right there. Oh, I bought this just because it was cute. I might send it, I might save it for like a baby gift. It's brand new and it's just a little unicorn onesie. How cute. Don't use you onesie in your titles. It will give you a, um, this is a Pixley, which is a Stix Fix brand shirt. Super cute. Super cute. How many times can I say that? <laughs> This is a very high-end designer. Um, I was excited to find these pants. There's the tag, I won't butcher it. And they're just like a cute little pair of uh, like slim leg pants. I bought this for Dez. It's just a new shirt. It says math, reading, science, blah, 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 blah. It's a Target shirt. Um, oh, this is for myself. I'm gonna keep this bad boy. I love this Nike tech stuff. Um, and this is just like a cute tunic. Totally wear this with leggings. This is, this is who I am now. This is who I am. I love this stuff. Okay, next up we have, what are you? You are a dress. This is a Black House White Market dress like a nice little dress. There's the front, that's actually pretty cute. And it is brand new with tags. Originally $148. Mm -mm, I paid like a dollar for it. <laughs> okay, pair of loft pants. Just a pair of loft skinny jeans, but you know what? I love the bread and butter stuff too. It doesn't always have to be high-end stuff. These sell for $15 all day long. It's like $10 in my pocket. If I found $10 on the ground, I would pick it up. So why wouldn't I pick these up if I was at the bins? That's my theory. I have a, um, from holding my phone, it's like a callus. A fun, fun callus I have. Anyway, um, these are cute. I wish these would fit the Lila, but I think they're going to be a tad too small. These are the Cinderella Mini Melissa's. Uh, Mini Melissa is a good brand to be looking out for. These in particular were very popular. They sell for around $50 in good condition. They're pretty worn. I will probably get around 30 for these. They're really pretty iridescent. See that? Ooh, fancy. Okay, what's in this bag? I don't know. We're gonna find out together though. All right, pair of pants right on top. This is a pair of Banana Republic. These are the Martin Fit dress pants. I always pick these guys up. I think these ones are lined too, which is nice. So these sell for me. I know some people don't pick up pants or dress pants, but that's fine because I do. <laughs> and I love selling them. This is a pair of Gap um, True Skinny Super High Rise. 
pink velvet pants. If these were black, I would totally keep them because they're my size. Super high rise. Yes, please. I heard low rise was coming back in and I was so sad. Please don't let, it's not coming back into my life. They can come back in other people's size. That's fine. I won't judge you. I will sell you low rise jeans. You will not come back into my closet because I don't want that. Just don't want that. More pants. The limited Drew fit. Um, in a size 12 long. What? Long is always good to find. Just sold a pair of J. Crew tall pants for 40 bucks. So it's always good to be picking that stuff up. You like my. Alrighty. These are more Banana Republic Martin fit. It's an older Banana Republic tag, but that doesn't mean much. They have not changed the style of these pants in a long time. And I really like this wool um, window plane, window pane <laughs> plaid style of pant. That's not a window pane. You can't tell, but it's actually a, what is this called? Uh, there's a name for this plaid, but anyway, I still pick it up. This is a pair of limited Cassie fit pants. I'm clearly showing you guys a bunch of pants right now, but put that in the title the side zipper on it and this is a pair of Victoria's Secret um, leggings so these are the flare fit Victoria's Secret yoga pants I think I got two pair of those actually I don't know this brand but I love this dress so I grabbed it it has like oh what are these called um ah, what are these called ravens no yes birds ravens i think and then the white one i just love this dress i love the print of this dress i don't think this brand is anything special maybe it is it's a cow cow i <laughs> uh design your own all over print dress oh that makes sense so you can make your own oh i bet i could make a like joe's face print dress for his birthday that i would wear and then he would be super excited about it cowcow.com either way that dress was cool someone wants it i promise uh foxcroft these are just good basics so i pick these up when i see them and then Oh, best time of the day for sure. Are you ready? Oh. Okay, first off, I would be excited just to find this, but I found it and it's brand new with tags. And this is a gorgeous, like so pretty, you guys. The color it's like a periwinkle oh blazer like oversized totally on trend love this piece i cannot believe i found this brand new with tags at the bins this retailed for over a thousand dollars brand new <sighs> i can't believe i found this at the bins what fabric are you made out of kind of wool but oh angora <laughs> Wow, this is 85% Angora. This is a very expensive jacket. Um, yeah, crazy good find. I am very excited about this piece and the possibilities that it holds. I can't believe I found it. I said that one more time. I can't believe I found that new with tags. I rarely find Escada, so finding a new with tags is really exciting. Um, Ming Wang, which is a higher end brand. This is just a very cute little blazer it's got the beaded detailing on it this is a pair of limited cassie fit pants love these pants you guys i seriously always buy no one else is picking them up and i'm like i'll take them they're not like fast movers they linger but they always sell and the trick is to get more in your store so because people want to come through and bundle them. So they'll buy like three or four or five at a time. Um, once I'll never forget, I had a lady come and just buy like all my black career skirts. 
she bought like four or five because I had enough, right? And she's probably just like, great, I'll take all those black career style skirts. They're in my size. Boom. So if I have five Cassidy limited style pants, they bundle them all together. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Um, I don't know what you are. You're just a Maurice's tank, but you're cute and you're brand new with tags. That's why I picked you up. I don't pick up all Maurice's stuff, but you know, with tags and a good little cute basic as a little tassel ties. Probably cost me 50 cents. I'll grab that. Um, I got this because it was new with tags. It's like a vintage. It's older for sure. It's a Disney store polo, Minnie Mouse. But it is new with tags, so this will definitely sell for at least 15, if not more. Someone's mom wore this and they want to create recreate a photo. They're looking, look, there's lots of reasons people buy this stuff. I don't need to tell you why people buy this stuff. People buy this stuff. This is a J. Crew skirt or <laughs> the J. Crew tunic is what this is. Um, half button, cool print tunic. Um, who what wear target brand brand new tags wide leg trousers i do pick up basically any new attack target stuff i list it i put it in mystery boxes that stuff sells it really sells so i find it at the bin and i definitely buy it um this is another new attack piece i got this because it again is a qvc piece brand new tags and like i said earlier there's the code plus size if this was like an extra small i would not have bought it but it's a 20 w so plus size jacket that's new with tags that will definitely move i don't have to like the style for someone else to like it um okay i don't pick up all this stuff but i do pick up some of it i once sold a jacket for 95 90 to 100. Um, it depends on the style. They're very style specific, but I thought this was a good one. So it's Dorothy. I don't know. Um, the Platinum 2 is what I usually look for. And this is a really cool, got some really cool details. And then the front drapes really well. It's very like art to wear. Someone wants this. And, oh yeah, right, it has a tie neck on it. So you can make like a big bow on the neck. This would just show, this will, someone will put that on a mannequin and it will look beautiful. Oh, this is a LuLaRoe maxi skirt and a pretty spring floral maxi skirts. They move. And it's that time of year again where they'll start to move more. Uh, maxi dresses, maxi skirts. There's a lot of people who are modest and they love this sort of thing. Alright, we're gonna go into this bag. Yeah. Oh, Lucy. Just a Lucy tank. Lucy, um, blue little sleeveless tank. And you are a brand new with tags. Uh, Charter Club. Again, I just got these because they're new with tags. Brand new with tags. Green pants. You know what will happen with these? I can almost guarantee it. St. Patrick's Day will happen. Someone will want a pair of green pants and somebody will have them in their closet to purchase. For $20. Yes. Okay, Lane Bryant. Because honestly, you can't just walk into any store and buy a pair of green pants. Like, I can't just walk into Target and be like, there's gonna be a pair of green jeans today at Target. It just doesn't work that way. So, Having a pair of brand new Attack green pants, they're not gonna search by brand, so it doesn't matter. They're just gonna look for green denim, green jeans in my size. I need to buy them. Boom, you have them. Um, Lane Bryant, very, this feels like it's brand new, like a dolman sleeve sweater. <laughs> Susan Graver, which is also QVC, and it has that number on the back of this tag. There it is. A lot of the QVC tags will look like this, where it's blank with just that little number. That's a maxi skirt. 
Torrid. This is a Torrid dress. Super cute Torrid dress, actually. So Torrid, size three, so plus size. And it is a super cute little dress, and it does have the belt. Oh, the thing. This is what I like to do with belt. Oh, you can't on this. Sometimes I'll all thread them through the, the label um, to make sure they don't fall off and tie them on. When I throw something back at the bins, if I can't, like if I'm not gonna take it, it has a belt that's kind of falling off, I'll literally just tie it onto the tags so that person gets the belt. Be nice to your to your friends. Um, so the BC boost. Uh, why am I trying to say this boost? I don't know. It's this brand, and it is a really cool pair of pants. I picked them up because I just loved them. I love these like wide leg, super beachy pants, and it's that time of year again. You should be listing. No more winter. No more fall. You should be. Uh, it doesn't matter that it's twenty degrees outside. List your bathing suits, list your spring stuff, list your summer stuff. Start getting it listed today. Okay. What else is over here? Um, okay, one more bag. Also might fall out of my chair, it's fine. <laughs> this is a Calvin Klein dress and it is just a career style dress, brand new with tags. A pair of Levi's. I don't buy all Levi's, I do buy some. These are skinny jeans, size 28. Um, and yeah, these will sell for 15, so it's my goal. Plus size, Athleta. Um, which is awesome. So this is a 2X Athleta. It feels like it's brand new and it has the built-in bra with, um, January coming and it is January. Uh, new Year's resolutions. That's what I'm getting at guys. This is just a cool gap dress. I just liked it. Also, I just got an eyelash in my eye. Nothing has changed. Since I Stop doing hauls on YouTube. All right, I'm back. That was a crazy moment. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, next up. <laughs> this is a horny toad, which is now toad and company for good reasons. Why did they even name their company horny toad to begin with? But their athletic wear dresses still sell. So I love it. Um, this is an Anne Klein jacket. I just thought it was super cute. It's just like a little, um, kind of like a swing coat. The back is pleated. Really cute. Very, very classy and timeless. So, have that bad boy. Oh, I love this piece so much. I wish it would fit one of my kids. It's Crew Cuts, which is J. Crew's um, younger line. Look at the neck. Yes. Um, and it's got this kind of like drop waist and a zipper detailing. So cute. They make the cutest kid stuff. Um, this is just another pair of those Victoria's Secret pants. And this is a pair of Lucy brand athletic pants. And more pants. The pants day. Um, uh, pair of Gap high rise jeans and a pair i got a couple of these um they're both the same j crew eight tall corduroy pants i think i got a couple different colors of these these ones the blue ones yeah so i'll probably lot these up And then this is a Not Your Daughter's Jeans. Or a jacket. A diesel. So this is a diesel brand kind of moto style. Super fun little jacket. And you are a sweater by Banana Republic. Uh, Banana Republic cocoon style sweater. A dress from BB, I think. 
Um, yeah, BB little lace corset style mini dress. Definitely a little party dress, but it's really cute. Yeah. Um, you are a pair of shorts from Nike. The best part about these is they are men's plus size shorts, which will do really well. Extra, extra large. I love finding good Nike pieces for men and plus size, like it's not plus size, but like bigger sizes. What are you? Here's an Ann Taylor loft. Really cute little wool sweater. Oh, that's why I liked you. You're with this like necktie up here. More pants. Paige. This is an older um, tag from Paige, but these are really cute and they're size 32, um, which is a bigger size, which is nice to find. I usually don't find Paige jeans over like a size 30, so finding a 32 is good. These are marmot jeans. And this is a pencil skirt, which is so cute. You can't tell. Um, it's Ann Taylor, but it's polka dot. The waistband is really cute. It's very structured. It's got a zipper um, exposed in the back. And I really like the style of it. I gotta move this bag a little. Okay. Oh, I love these pants too. These are Banana Republic and they're polka dot. Hello, super cute polka dot pants. And I love this dress. Somebody told me on Instagram, um, this dress has been worn by quite a few people on TV shows, including um, on New Girl. So that's great, Zoe Deschanel. This is a girls from Savory dress. Ugh, so freaking cute. I love this dress. It's got pockets. Girls love pockets. And these are a pair of cavi, just kind of wide. No, they're like a jogger style pant. And this is a White House Black Market um, wrap shirt. <laughs> this is a um, Ann Taylor dress. It's an older Ann Taylor dress, but I liked it to have a silk dress. It's pretty timeless. The, it's just made really well. The pleat, like the pleating detail is so pretty. And I really liked that it was silk, so I grabbed it. This is um, a romper by this brand. Really cute little floral romper. Time to get this stuff listed. Oh, I got this because it's brand new with tags. So this is a brand new with tags, David's bridal dress. Um, David's bridal dresses actually sell really well because a lot of people just find out like the color that they need or the style and they go and they buy them cheaper. So when you're listing these, you definitely want to put all of the info, like the color um, number and everything in it because it will sell. So brand new with tags really cute little bridesmaid dress and this one was also brand new with tags bb dakota it still has the nordstrom tag on it and it's just like a cute little floral dress columbia shorts brian black crocheted Little tank and Taylor cardigan. And a Nordstrom's halogen 3X little tank top, but it's brand new with tags, which is fantastic. And this is a pure and good, which is sold to anthropology and just a long sleeve. Ribbed shirt. There's the tag. And uh, Market and Spruce, which is a Stitch Fix brand. And you are Bo. Oh, this was so cool. I had to buy it. <laughs> this is a Hogwarts robe. Excuse me. I'm now a wizard. <laughs> Look at this. It's so cool. 
I was actually just thinking about how I wanted to watch Harry Potter with the kids, so I might keep this for myself and have a Harry Potter night. Okay. Yes. What? I think I'm... Uh, is this like a Gryffindor one? The colors are specific. But how cool is this robe? I'm so into this, you guys. I'm just going to be a wizard the rest of the haul. There's like three more things. Okay. I love Harry Potter. Uh, this is a Bobu tunic. Oh, I really hope that, hold on. That is me trying to get YouTube to screen grab for my title card. Um, this is a Joy Lab. Target brand athletic shirt. Hannah Hannah Anderson little baby onesie um, that is stained. Why did I buy this? I should not have bought this. But I do buy those because they sell for about $20. And then I did get a few um, LuLaRoe pieces. I like to lot these up. Um, they still do pretty well if you lot them up. And then this is just a cute little H&M dress that I got because I love the color and the style and I might keep it for myself. <laughs> okay, that is the end of my magical haul. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you have um, a very good week and thank you again for watching. Make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe before you go. Bye.